This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, their physical computing unit, and I'm on the lesson arrays and color LEDs. Let's see. Using variables, this program is like the last one, but the icon should always match the colors. Red heart, yellow star, green leaf, and blue water. You can do this by using the variable myIndex, which will store the value of a random number so that it can be used to get the icon and the color from the same place on each list. That is super cool. Alright, change the code so that both the icon and its color are using the myIndex variable. So what they were trying to say there is our lists icons okay so we wanted heart to be red well if you look at icons and remember you always start at zero in an array in a list right so this is index zero index one index two index three and then in our colors this is index zero index one index two and index three. Oh, look red hearts at index zero i mean red and heart are index zero which were the colors we wanted to match they wanted a yellow star well at index one is star and then index one of colors is yellow so the colors will match up okay so we have this variable they made my index and then down here we make my index equal to the random number between zero and three so zero one two and three would make sense that's the possible indexes now what we want to do is use that index to have it randomly pick an item and the item's color all right let's give this a shot I'm going to make it to box because I think it's easier to see. So get image. Yep. We want to set the property of image. That's good. We want to set the image to. Okay. So here's where we're going to use our array. And now we're, I'm going to use the icons array. And then I need square brackets. I always put them both because otherwise I forget the closing one. Now, what number am I going to have in here? None. I'm going to have this variable because my index will be equal to whatever number is 0 to 3. And this lets us use, great, now what color do I want it to be? Well, for the color, I'm going to use the colors array, and this is going to be the my index variable. And this is how you can use, ooh, I did something wrong, colors. Oh, I closed it with a curly bracket. Oops. This is how you use a random number more than once. You make a variable for the random number because each time a random number is run, it will be a completely different number. But if I make a variable, my index, my index here is going to be the same as my index here. Whereas if we put random number and random number, it would not, which is perfect because if it's two, it's going to be a leaf and be green and line up with our lists, hopefully. So the L button triggers this. Let's give it a shot. Hmm, my computer's being weird. Let me just refresh. Okay, same code. Let's try it now. But ah, uh, but ah, uh, this is cool. But ah, uh, <laughs> I love it. Awesome. Let's keep going.